How to self-screen for colon cancer. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer. However, there are excellent screening tests available and, when caught early, colon cancer is able to be treated and cured in 90% of all cases this is why following through with the recommended screening is so important. See your family doctor to learn how to self-screen for colon cancer via the at-home stool test, which is recommended every 1–2 years for people over the age of 50. Though colon screenings performed by trained doctors are always best, an at-home test is better than nothing and could point out issues that you'll need to address. Performing the at-home stool test Evaluate your level of risk for colon cancer. See your doctor at age 50 to begin self-screening, and earlier if you believe you have additional risk factors in which case your doctor will let you know at what age you are eligible to begin. Obtain the testing package. One stool test is called the fecal occult blood test This looks for blood in your stool that is not visible to the naked eye. It is the most commonly used self-screening test for colon cancer. 4. Another stool test option is called the fecal immunochemical test FIT. This is almost the same as FOBT, except instead of detecting blood via heme it detects it via antibodies directed at human hemoglobin. 5. The final self-screening stool test option is called Cologuard. This evaluates both for the presence of blood in the stool, as well as for DNA that has been correlated to a higher risk for colon cancer. 6. It is quite new and therefore not currently recommended as the standard of care. However, studies indicate that the new Cologuard test could potentially have a greater ability to detect colon cancer than either the FOBT or the FIT tests. Collect the required number of stool samples. Once you have the package at home with you, you are ready to begin testing at the time of your next bowel movement. Take note of how many stool samples you will need. Some self-screening packages request three samples, often each the size of a smear on a piece of toilet paper. Others ask for only one sample, but it may require the whole bowel movement to be packaged and sent into the lab. One way to collect bowel samples more easily is to place a piece of plastic wrap over the toilet bowl, allowing it to hang just above the water level. Seven. After your bowel movement, you can then collect the stool sample in the required amount before flushing the rest down the toilet. Ensure that no urine contaminates your stool sample. Store the stool sample at room temperature. It is important to store your stool sample at room temperature until you have a chance to return it to the lab. This should be done within seven days following the collection of your stool sample. Send the stool sample back to the lab. Book a follow-up appointment to review your results. 